Hey everyone, here's going to be the first episode in building a Delta printer. This is the Phoenix Delta. This is the mini version right here. It's the little brother to my big guy right here, but basically we're going to talk about the frame this episode. So I've 3D printed corners for this, ABC corners. These are the motor ones. These are the top corners. This particular printer uses 300 millimeter 2020 extrusions and then 500 millimeter um, side extrusions here. This printer uses M5 bolts throughout. These are 10 millimeter in length. I just, uh, I just ordered, you know, kind of whatever was on Amazon type thing. Uh, AliExpress would be the best way to get those. They're probably the cheapest. Order at least 100 of them. You're also going to need two types of uh, T-nuts or hammer nuts, they're called. So I have these twists, these drop-in style. So these drop in and you can twist them. So it's very nice for like adding something right onto a, a rail where you can't slide in a T-nut on the ends. The other type you're going to need is the slide-in type. So these are uh, slide-in type T-nut. They can only be slid in on the ends. So, like I say, a hundred of each. These are 3D printed. Do pay attention to whatever corners you choose. These 3D printed corners here use M5 bolts to actually hold the idlers on top. However, my large delta here, I bought these corners. I believe you can buy these on AliExpress. They use three millimeter bolts. So just keep that in mind. That also determines what type of idler you use. You can get mellow idlers that are 20 tooth in three millimeter bore and also five millimeter bore. So just kind of take your time, build the frame first, and then maybe decide on what, what actual idlers you need and what bore size you need. But I mean, very straightforward to assemble. They just slide onto the tops here of the side. Uh, extrusions. Motor mounts are down here. You can see the NEMA fits in here. Uh, plenty of adjustment here for your pulley width. I'm using um, kind of what also is in addition to the frame would be the linear rails. Now I'm using, for this particular printer, I'm using these ones here. Cymax 3D. I got these off Amazon and actually these are very, very nice rails. Um, they're probably better than the, the rails I ordered off AliExpress. Um, very, very smooth, like really smooth. Uh, not a lot of oil on them, which is really great. Very, very nice. Uh, polished back on them, they fit nice and flush. These are all mounted, ready to go. I'm going to start printing out the actual uh, ABC carriages here. This is uh, almost final design. I just got to add my end stop flag. But yeah, that's kind of what a uh, finished frame looks like. And like I say, this is the mini version. I don't know quite exactly if this is the height I want to go with, or, not, or maybe this is too small. This should give me like a 180, 180, 180 build area or 200, something in there, those lines. So relatively small, but I kind of wanted a nice compact small uh, footprint printer over uh, my big huge one here but the parts are basically the same uh, something also to note too here is the spacing from your extrusion to your idler you can see there's quite a lot of room here so the belt actually sticks out quite far on this particular printer however on this one you'll notice the spacing is not that much here so the belt's actually going to run a lot closer to the actual rail here. That's why this arm is much thinner. You can see the difference here. This is a much thicker mount. Basically the exact same design. It's just one's thicker than the other. So just pay attention to that depending if you go with 3D printed ones or you go with these um, metal ones off of AliExpress. These are like an extra, well, they could be an extra $50. I don't really know if it's worth the extra money. You could definitely save 50 bucks and just print these out. Um, I do have a GitHub now for these parts. 
that'll be in the description. So I'm just taking it slow. I just have the corners on the GitHub right now. I don't have all the parts for this because I want to um, take my time, show you guys the build, and I want to kind of assemble it as we go and make sure all the parts have all the features that I want in them. So like I say, I'm still making revisions to this part. That's why it's not on the GitHub yet. Same thing with the effector. Um, this effector is going to be direct drive. This is going to be a direct drive Delta 3D printer. Unlike my big one here, which is still Bowden, which I will eventually switch over to direct drive, but this is going to be my very first direct drive Delta. So hopefully you guys are interested in that. But yeah, if you have any questions or comments, please comment below. Uh, definitely willing to help you out if anyone wants to follow the build along with me. All right, guys. Thanks.